Hi guys and welcome back. So, it has been a minute since I've done a video. I apologize for that. I have been so busy, um, whether it be with the kids or um, with the garden. It's been pretty hectic. But I wanted to bring you along for how I am preserving my tomatoes this year. So, as you guys know, I love to can, and that is my preferred method of preserving tomatoes. However, I can't can this year. Um, I have canned some. I've canned about 10 quarts of tomato juice, and um, I canned some crushed tomatoes. I think maybe uh, 16 pints. Yeah. I did about 16 pints, but I still have so many tomatoes, and where I have to do my canning, um, I can't always be there. So, when the tomatoes need to be done, they need to be done, and I was keeping them in my freezer, which you can totally do um, if you have the space, right like this. I wash them, I toss them, not even in a bag, just toss them in the freezer, uh, but I my freezer's full after uh, unloading it with the first batch of my awesome harvest of tomatoes. So now we're on to more and they need to be used. So today's video is a non-canning way to preserve your tomatoes. Um, so again, this is gonna be a freezer version. You can, like I said, just freeze them like this. <clears throat> you could chop them and bag them. I'm going to go a step further and make a pasta sauce base slash tomato soup base. Um, so it's going to be really fun. It's going to be really easy. And it is so delicious. I have already done this once. Um, and it made, I want to say six quart baggies worth. And it, oh my goodness, it is so good. And I know you're probably thinking, you're like, well, Monica, how can you have a pasta sauce base and a tomato soup base in the same batch? I'm telling you, when you smell it and when you taste it, you're going to be like, oh, I can add this and it can be amazing pasta sauce. Or I can add some cream and it can be an amazing uh, tomato soup. I'm telling you, it's amazing. <laughs> I can't say the word enough. Um, the first batch I did, um, cause it is going to be different than this batch. The first batch, everything is that I did, everything is going to be the same as what I show you here, except for the herbs. Last time the herbs were fresh basil and fresh oregano. Today I'm going to switch it up. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this. <clears throat> okay. So all I have done is cleaned and then if there was like a bad spot or something, um, I just cut it off. I did not core them, nothing. So I have a mixture of big tomatoes, Roman tomatoes. I have three frozen tomatoes that uh, had gotten lost in my freezer from the last batch. And then I have some beautiful cherry and grape tomatoes. <clears throat> I have two bulbs of garlic. And then I have two onions um my onions were kind of going bad so it's the equivalent of like two but it's really like four onions but only parts of them so now what we are adding to this is salt and you want to be oh wait pause first <laughs> we're adding olive oil and since this will be pasta sauce or tomato soup. I am liberal for either. And just use the rest of it. It will not hurt anything. Now you want to sprinkle liberally with salt. Get everything coated. And then do the same exact thing with your pepper. And it already smells so good. Could also be the fresh herbs, which I was gonna say you can use um, you can use dried herbs if you want. Um, you won't have to use as much, but it also won't be the same exact flavor. 
Um, you can also, all of these can be previously frozen or frozen solid, does not matter. Toss them on and let it do its thing. So, for our seasonings, I told you last time I used basil and oregano, which, oh my goodness, it smelled amazing. But today, I have thyme, which I'm just going to leave on the stick. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. And I'll pick up the stems later. And then we're going to use sage. And if you have never had roasted sage, hmm, you don't know what you're missing. It's the same with roasting the basil. Like the last batch I did, oh my goodness, roasted basil is amazing. So, here is our... Um, Oh, by the way, this is a 12 by 15 sheet pan. So it's completely filled. And now it's going to go in a 400 degree oven and just roast until everything is bursting and browned all on top. All right. So here is what it should look like after it is gone for the proper amount of time. Varies by stove oven. Um, I have let this cool down. Um, to where if it splashes on me, it's not going to burn. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove these, which are just the, um, the stems from our thyme. I'll get the dried leaves off. And then all of this is going to go into a blender. The juice, the skin, everything in this pan is going to go in the blender. Okay. <clears throat> So this is what it looks like once everything is blended together and as you can see it is smooth you cannot tell that we have tomato skins in there and it smells amazing so at this point you could either a add um like you can make it a vodka sauce or you could add some diced tomatoes maybe some basil make it a pasta sauce you could add some heavy cream and make it a tomato soup. <clears throat> the options are wide open. You could eat it just like it is. What I'm going to do is freeze it. So I'm just going to use quart baggies. I'm going to make sure it is completely dry or completely um, cooled down. And then I'm going to put it in quart baggies and just freeze it. And then that way I'll be able to use it for whatever I like come winter time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Super quick, super easy way to preserve your vegetables, or your tomato harvest rather, and be able to use it all winter long without canning it. So until next time guys, thanks for watching.